I'm going to tie Bars Graphic Caddis, and I'm starting off with a size 14 scud hook in the vise. And the thread that I'll use is a 70, and this is in a fluorescent chartreuse. You can tie these in a variety of colors. This one's going to be green. And the thread will dictate what color the caddis is. Um, you can use uh, some micro tubing for the overbody, and so because it's transparent, whatever color you use for uh, the thread is what's going to shine through. So that's what I'll tie in next. This is a clear micro tubing, or you can use an, an ultra lace, same thing. And I'll tie this in on the back. I'm pulling it tight to give it a slim profile and make sure I tie it down nice and snug. I'll work my way back up. This pattern has a tag to it and I'm going to use um, a holographic silver flashaboo. And because this is uh, the thinner material, I'm going to take two strands. They also make a silver holographic tinsel and you can get them in different widths and if you get the medium or, or large you probably only need to take one strand but uh, because this is thinner I'll double it up and I'll tie that in again all the way down to where I tied in my tubing I'll take a moment to tidy that up and give it some character to the end of this pattern. Then I'll take my two strands and try to keep them together. And then I'll work my thread back down to the tag to tie it off. And then I can trim. I always tie in a longer tag than what I intend just to be sure that I've got proper coverage and then I'll wrap my thread back over it so that I can get the right size tag that I'm looking for. Take a moment to smooth out that underbody and then I'll leave my thread at about the maybe the two-thirds mark or so. Now I can pull my tubing and wrap it up the body, side by side wraps here, and as I hit the green I'm going to loosen my turns to help add some more shape to this. And when I reach my thread, then I'll tie it off. And trim. And at this point, I'm going to switch thread. So I'll whip finish here. Trim. And then I'm going to reattach a darker thread. So I'm going to use a 8 dot, and this is in a camel. The alternative would be you could take a sharpie to the to the thread at the end there and color it whatever you whatever you want. But I'm going to swap it out, take enough wraps to lock it in and trim, and then I'll back my thread up to where I want to tie in the legs. 
So the legs that I'm going to use are a partridge, and I like to find something that's going to be long enough to give me the length of the legs that I'm looking for, as well as um, have plenty of character to it. So I'm pulling back the fibers away from the tip and I'll remove that. And when I pull them forward then it'll have a V where I can position around either side of the hook shank. So I'll tie this in. I want it to go extend back to the end of the overall hook. I want to make sure I've got some material on either side. Take a couple of wraps give a look position them and then I can trim the excess material when I'm happy with the look of it and then holding it again I'll just finish binding it down the last material that I'm going to use is a ostrich and this is in a gray so I'll take off one strand clean up the bottom so I've got a nice tie in point and I'll leave my thread behind the eye and now I can wrap this one thing that I like to do as I wrap it is just wet my fingers on my left hand and pull them back as I go and when I've reached my thread then I'll hold it at the top and then tie it down with a little thread head that'll just pop right off and now I can whip finish and trim put a drop of head cement on here to make sure everything Hold. And that is Bar's Graphic Caddis.